we want to introduce you to one of the UK's brightest and most up-and-coming investment locations. We are brilliantly connected, have a positive business community and a great quality of life, and all this at a surprisingly low cost base. There is no arguing that Chesterfield is a central and fantastically well-connected town. We have fast and easy access to rail, air and sea. By road we call Sheffield, Derby and Nottingham our neighbours. This means over 2 million people are within an hour's drive and our close proximity to the M1 opens up the rest of the country for business. Our obvious connection to the M1 gives us the kind of competitive advantage needed to attract and grow a vibrant logistics sector. This is led by Markham Vale, an 80 hectare enterprise zone with its own dedicated M1 junction and with units available from 3,000 to 1 million square feet. Our good location is a valuable asset to all our businesses, but represents a fantastic opportunity for manufacturers and logistics companies. Our business community extends from purpose-built innovation centres to modern advanced manufacturing services. We have both the premises and organisations to genuinely help new arrivals and startups to settle in and grow. We have a well-known engineering heritage and diverse population to deliver a skilled workforce that's second to none. We have 12 universities within an hour and one of the largest colleges in Britain, giving you direct access to an outstanding talent pool of research and academic resources, and of course your future workforce. An indication of the town's energy in both the private and public sectors is the number of significant development projects, including the recently completed Market Hall, the Waterside, and the Northern Gateway all bringing additional new business premises, leisure facilities, homes and jobs to the town, and all vitally important for business growth. A great place to live draws in a good and happy workforce. Chesterfield has a busy, vibrant centre, with one of the lowest high street vacancy rates in the country, one of the largest outdoor markets, and we have the Peak District as our back garden to play in. We have ambitious theatres, a new football stadium, award-winning hotels, a growing restaurant trade, high-ranking schools, and significant future leisure development plans. Move into Chesterfield's wide range of housing and you can have the town on your doorstep or have Chatsworth and Hardwick Hall as your neighbour. And it is our leading tourist centres, the busy high street and the town's energy that makes it ideal for investors in retail, leisure and tourism. All of the business leaders that we spoke to, without exception, said that value for money in both business and lifestyle was one of the key reasons for moving to Chesterfield and the one main competitive advantage that had helped them to grow. Invest in Chesterfield, the perfect place to grow your business cost-effectively. Discover a place that's full of surprises, like antique treasures in all shapes and sizes, a fairy tale castle with knights bearing arms. The very best produce from the very best farms. Discover festivals, markets, galas, fairs, where the streets are filled with people and music fills the air. Green spaces, secret places, a warm welcome, friendly faces, hidden gems, town jewels, coffee and cake when you need to refuel. Discover great restaurants and great nights out. Enjoy fine wines or pints of beer and stout. 
discover a parade of Christmas lights when people come together on a cold winter's night. True customer service from independent traders, from bicycle repairs to smokehouse operators. You can discover it all in one small town, on a hill, by a castle, with fields all round. Discover something different. Discover Bolsover. I'm Ursula Lidbetter. I'm the chair of the Greater Lincolnshire Local Enterprise Partnership. We've been working hard to make sure that Greater Lincolnshire is a wonderful place to invest and to bring your business. We already have great firms here such as Siemens and we're really concentrating on our key sectors of manufacturing and engineering, ports and logistics and agri-food. We also have a wonderful tourism sector which tells you it's also a great place to live and work and I hope you want to find out more about Greater Lincolnshire. Siemens in Lincolnshire design and manufacture and service worldwide industrial gas turbines that are less than 20 megawatts. And these smaller side, size gas turbines are used in the power generation industry and they're used in the oil and gas industry worldwide, either for combined heat and power for greater efficiency or for serving the oil industry for localised power or uh, gas compression or pumping liquid down pipelines. Operating a business in Great Lynchia I think is an excellent thing for any business to want to choose to. We operate here from a heritage perspective but Simmons acquired our business some 13 years ago and have invested heavily into our operations here. It's a fantastic area as well as being a great place for us to recruit talent and operate our business from. Our relationship with the University of Lincoln is very strong and we're now taking our fourth year of graduates, over 30 graduates into our business since it started. But we also have a research and development relationship with us which is very important for driving our technology forward and it's great to have that on our doorstep in the Lincoln area. Dianix is an um, electronics manufacturing company. Basically we are part of a Chinese organisation, so our parent company is based in China, but they've chosen to locate in Lincoln because they consider it's a good place to do business and the UK and Lincoln can act as a springboard, particularly into Europe, and help them with their international business. Historically, it's been brilliant because of the soils and the climate here. And because of the primary production that's been here, we have now a vibrant added value sector. I think the people that are involved, as well as the quality of food that's produced here, is absolutely critical. And as a, re as a, as a result of the infrastructure that's in here, uh, they can produce more effectively than they would be able to in other parts of the country. So Greater Lincolnshire is very definitely the best place for them. We've got 80 hectares of land which is ripe for development and I think we've come to a crucial point in the agenda now with seafood and also with Greater Lincolnshire and the agri offering that we can actually start to develop this and offer this to work on the back of Grimsby Europe's food town. Not too far from here we have Morrison's which of course we know is a, is a leading UK supermarket. They took a decision a few years ago to establish a site dedicated to seafood processing for themselves. So I think there's a whole mix here of different types of products. So we think, you know, Greater Lincolnshire has got it all.
Wilmot Dixon are keen to work in Lincoln. We see it as a great opportunity and being a privately owned construction company enables us to work closely with both the city and county councils to look at unlocking some of these development opportunities, whether it's funding streams or feasibility studies to see how we can best work together to, to create greater investment in Lincolnshire. Greater Lincolnshire provides a fantastic, affordable investment opportunity for any industry. There's leisure provisions, there's the university that producing academics to support any industry that wants to come and work within Lincolnshire. And Wilmot Dixon are proud as a, a privately owned company to support some of the things that both the county and city council are trying to achieve here. In 2014 we set up the Joseph Banks Laboratories which are the home of the University of Lincoln's College of Science. Of course we're not just building a university campus, we're building a place where the commercial world and the academic world can interlink. So we've just broken ground on the Ball Technology Centre which is the Joseph Banks Laboratories commercial counterpart and we're hoping to attract somewhere in the region of 25 businesses to locate here on this site to grow, to prosper and to work together as part of the Science Park community. We're making sure that we've got a building, a university quality building available to the private sector that allows companies to have the best offices, the best laboratories, the best workshops in Lincolnshire. And we think that's something that can be transformational, not just for the businesses here on site, but for supply chains across the county. Pygill and Crone is celebrating 25 years in the county of Lincolnshire. Lincolnshire is very much recognised now as the county to live, work and invest in. National and international clients are now looking to relocate to the county Due to a number of reasons, we have affordable land prices, our housing stock is affordable with average house prices of 130,000 compared with the national average of 260,000. We have excellent communications and we also have Lincoln's University which is now in the top 40 in the UK. Lincolnshire is very much the county to live, work and invest in. My name is Nicola Moore, I'm Project Manager at BT Ross Electronics. Well, we've been based in this area since pre-war. Because we're located centrally in the country, it's handy because it means that we can get to all our customers that can be based anywhere from Scotland all the way down South London and beyond. It really keeps us central and makes it easier for people to get to us. On the rail links especially, it's good for all routes and travelling across the area really. My name's Katrina and I'm the business director for A-Star Media. Uh, we're a small film production company based in Mansfield and the main reason that we chose this location as a base is because it's where I'm from and it was a good place to actually start a business because financially it was um, really cost effective. Since that time we did get a lot of support from the local business community and that was really good and it's something that as we've gone on I've realised is quite unusual um, to get that level of support from other businesses. My name is Malcolm Hall, owner and managing director of Hallfast Industrial Supplies. I started Hallfast in August 2006. From starting the business from a back bedroom, I initially my business was based in Booton uh, uh, in North Knott. But the first opportunity and based on growth and the need of the business, uh, we re relocated to where we are now uh, in Mansfield and uh, the, the move to the, the, the purchase of the building uh, was actually helped by the council. We got a 40 something thousand pounds grant uh, to help us do it, which was nice. 
Well, luckily we, we are uh, next to uh, an exception we, uh, college. Uh, West Knox College is the second uh, further education college in the UK and we've managed to uh, take on young people uh, from uh, as apprentices initially, uh, from uh, Vision Apprentices, which is part of the, the college, uh, as and when the business needs. We now have four young people working for us. I'm Martin Wrigley, I'm Managing Director of Lindhurst Engineering. Uh, we provide uh, engineering services on fabrication and, and, and the mechanical electrical engineering front. But we've been in this unit uh, in Sutton Ashfield now for 27, 28 years. What's really important to us is the people we employ, the people locally. Um, we found they've got a very can-do attitude. Whether that's a throwback from the mining days, I don't know, but uh, no matter what we present them with, nobody ever questions it, they get on and do it, they enjoy what they're doing, um, and very self-motivated. I know with some great businesses in this part of the world, it's, it's a very good sense of community and people supporting and, and, and helping each other um, and I think that's the main reason that we've stopped here and what attracts us to this part, to, to, to Mansfield and Ashford. My name is Irvin Robinson, I'm Chairman of 2020 which is uh, an organisation, it's a partnership of business and other agencies in our area who, uh, who get together to actually look at progressing uh, our economy, uh, regenerating our economy and uh, for developing things for all our communities. We've also uh, had a strong lobby to, to deal with things which we believe is important, the infrastructure in our area, to help our area. I'm Nick Linney. I'm the fifth generation of what is a sixth generation business. In the trade, we're known as marketing services supply chain managers, but uh, it is really about continuing our love of doing beautiful things with word spaces, pictures, and numbers. We started here in Mansfield in 1851. Uh, we currently employ about 750 people. The good things about the area are an extremely flexible group of people are available in the workforce, great people. Uh, we think they're the best people, that's why our business stays firmly rooted in uh, Mansfield. Um, it's great opportunities for, for businesses coming in uh, to, to see what I, what I can see. I mean, it's a business community that help each other, very community focused, and um, that the Mansfields actually go in places. We are real champions for the area because it really benefited us starting out, and I think it's a really positive place for small businesses to actually start. Every six months I can see this area improve, and I felt like that for probably 20 years got the reputation and, and we've got everything working for, for, for us for business in our area. So that's what I'd say to people, it's an opportunity to join in this journey.
Newark itself has got a great location in terms of transport links on both road and rail, so it's really accessible to everyone all over the country. Newark itself and the surrounding areas have lots to offer, great premises and great people and there's great opportunities out there. Transport links are brilliant. Uh, we have a, an office in London uh, and Leeds uh, and the East Coast Main Line uh, is, is really important uh, in connecting those offices. There's no reason why you can't operate uh, a very substantial business from Newark. Newark for us is great. We've got great facilities, uh, great workforce and really good skills. It's got its own micro-economy, uh, it's really vibrant.
We dared to be different. We dared to challenge. We dared to trade. We dared to look outwards. We dared to rebel. We dared to take risks. After all, we dared to rob from the rich, to give to the poor. We dared to build. To establish. And to thrive. We dared to invest in people, places, and jobs. We dared to start up. We dared to grow businesses. We dared to dance and to laugh and to sing. 60,000 students a year dare to embrace their potential. We dare to imagine, to create, and perform ideas, innovation, research. We dare to experiment and we dare to discover biotech, data, creative industries. We dare to step up. We dare to excel. Trams, trains, buses and planes. We dare to move forward. And we do it together. Football, cricket, Olympic Games. We dare to compete and we dare to win. We dare to be vibrant. We dare to be diverse. We dare to offer a home. We dare to inspire talent. And we dare to believe in ourselves. But we face challenges, we dare to keep going. Who are we? We are Nottingham. 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 And we dare you to join us.